gosh, I'm a shopaholic. <laughs> Hello everyone. I've seen a lot of quarantine collection hauls and I just thought that I would make one since all I've been doing is shopping. But yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna show you everything that I bought during quarantine and maybe a couple other items. So before I get started, I just wanna let you know that some of these things I bought in store and they might've been on sale, so they aren't being sold online, but I'm going to try to have everything linked down below and I'll have pictures on the screen. So yeah, let's just get started. The first store I'm gonna show you is Airy. First thing is this little tank top. I think it's really cute. I don't believe they're selling it online, but they might still be selling them in store. I'm not really sure. It's lace, it has a little tie here to cinch the waist. The back is all cinched as well. I got this in a size medium and it was $34.95. The next thing from Airy are these leggings that I absolutely love. I wear these all the time. They're like thermal leggings. They're very soft on the inside and they're not see-through at all. They're like very thick. They're called the Airy Play Pocket High-Waisted Leggings in Navy. I got them in a medium as well. These were $44.95 and I believe right now they're actually on sale, so I might want to copy a pair. The last things that I got are bathing suits. First, I got these bottoms. They're high-waisted. They're called the High Cut Cheeky Bikini Bottoms. I couldn't find the navy online, but I know for a fact that when you go into the store, they have a whole bunch of different colors of these bottoms. So I don't know if they still sell the navy. I got these in a size medium and they were $24.95. So I got this yellow bathing suit top. This is called the Airy V Bandeau Bikini Top. It's in this like sunshine yellow color. <gasps> Ew, there's a bug in my room. <gasps> I got this in a size medium and it was only $20. I don't know if this goes for online too, but I know that in store their bathing suits are only $20. So I got the top and then I got the matching bottoms. I also got them in a medium. And that is everything that I got at Airy. So let's move on to the next store. So the next store that I shopped from was American Eagle and Aerie and American Eagle are pretty much the same thing, but I ordered the American Eagle online versus the Aerie I went in store to get, so. But I found a gift card for American Eagle and I really needed shorts because this was the beginning of quarantine and I was like, you know, I've got time to wait for the shorts and by the time they get here, it'll be summer. So I got three pairs of shorts. Okay, the first pair of shorts I got are these ripped ones. They're the next level curvy high-waisted short shorts. They were $49.95 and they're in the color medium bright indigo. I never had a pair of ripped shorts before, so I thought I'd try them out and I absolutely love these. They're so soft and so stretchy. I got them in a size eight. Actually, all the shorts that I got are size eight. These are the next level super high-waisted denim short shorts. Also, like I said, a size eight. These are $39.95 and they're just in the color medium standard. Okay, last pair of shorts. I got these black ones. They look like maroon on camera. Not really sure what that's about. They're the next level curvy, super high-waisted short shorts. They were $44.95 and they're just obviously in the color black. Yeah, that is everything I got from American Eagle. Let's move on to the next store. Next, we have Garage, and let me tell you, Garage knows what's up right now. I feel like Garage always has like the most in-style clothes. Oh, another thing about Garage is that they keep their clothes in stock online. So even if you like go into the store and see this top or whatever, and you end up not getting it, and like a couple months later, you're like, dang, I really should have got that top. If you go online, it will probably be there because that's literally what happened with this. I bought this in store at like the very beginning of this quarantine thing and I wasn't expecting to find it online, but they still have it online. So shout out to Garage for that. That's a pretty cool thing. But anyway, this is the Tia Tank in Seedling Light Green. I got it in a large and it was $16.95. It's like this very spandexy material. I absolutely love it. It's got this square neck. Looks really freaking cute. Can't wait till I'm like tan to wear it, you know? My sister actually bought the same exact top, but in black. The next thing that I got, I absolutely love. This color is currently my favorite. This is called the Festival Cami in Kentucky Blue. 
The back is so pretty, it laces up. It's also really thick, so you don't gotta wear a bra. I got it in a size medium and it was also $16.95, which I feel like $16.95 isn't even that bad for like a really good quality top. I wasn't really prepared with the names of these pants, but if I find them online, I'll put a picture of them. Um, I got these light wash, they're ripped all down the thighs and the bottoms all distressed, which I think is actually really cute. These are a size nine, they're really stretchy. Um, I don't know the price of them. The next pair is also a light wash, but they're only ripped at one of the knees, but the bottom is yet again frayed or distressed, whatever you wanna call it. I also got these in a size nine. Oh, these are all high-waisted, by the way. I would never buy low-waisted jeans. The next pair of jeans that I got are these dark wash. They're ripped at the knee, and I really like how they're lighter in the middle. The back top of the pockets are distressed, which I think is really cute. They're also in a size 9. The bottom looks like this, but I'm not really a fan of that, so... I just cuff them, and I think it's really cute. The last thing I got at Garage is this pair of shorts. These are just called the mom shorts in the color sky blue. I've always wanted a pair of denim shorts like this because I feel like the style is very popular. Cinches at the waist, a little lacer at the bottom. I got these in a size nine. They were $42.95. The only thing about these that I'm a little iffy about is that there's like zero stretch to them. That concludes everything that I got from Garage. Let's move on to the next. The next store I'm going to show you is Pink. So I actually went shopping yesterday to pick up these goods. So that is why I have the bag with me. So without even realizing it, I bought a whole bunch of gym to swim tops. I bought four bras, but only two different styles. You'll see what I mean in a second. So first of all, their whole store right now is 50% off. So everything was like less than $17, I believe, which is crazy for pink. But anyway, this is one sports bra that I got. It's a part of the gym to swim line. I already wore it, so that's why there's no tags on it. But the back is really cool. This is the back, it's all strappy. It's this really pretty red color and I don't usually wear red, like at all. And the bottom band says pink all over it. I couldn't find this bra online, so I think they only have them in store. And then I got this white bra, which me being a little stupid and a little too excited for having a white bra, because I don't actually have a white sports bra, um, I thought this was exactly like the red one, but I just found out that it's not. It actually goes straight in the back, which I'm not usually a fan of, but I tried it on and it actually doesn't really affect me that much. I usually hate when bras or tank tops or swimsuits go straight back. I love a little halter, but I actually do like it. I think it's fine. I got these both in medium. They are originally $26.95, but I got them half off. Next two things that I got are also gym to swim and they're the same exact thing, just different color. I got this neon bra. I'm probably gonna wear it as a swimsuit though because I don't know, I think it's more like a swimsuit than a bra. This is also a medium and I believe it was also $26.95, yeah. The style is actually sold online. It's called the Twist Front Lightly Lined Sports Bra. The only thing is I don't think it's half off online. I think it's buy two for like 30 something bucks. So instead of half off, you just have to buy two of them. So if you're only looking to buy one of them, I would recommend going in store. The back looks like this and it says pink on it. This next one I'm really excited for. It's the same exact bra, like I said, it's also medium. It's in the old school blue color which I think is so cute. I pretty much got it because I found these leggings that were the same exact color. And I thought the color was just so cute. So I thought it would be really cute if I wore it together. These are the buttery soft leggings. They're in a size medium. They say pink in the back. Also, these were on sale. They were originally $59.95. And I got them for only 30, which is really nice for a pair of leggings. That wraps up everything that I got from pink. Let's move on to the next store. At the beginning of quarantine, I bought a lot of jeans from Hollister because I found gift cards and I was like, I need jeans anyway and I'm not gonna buy anything else from Hollister, so might as well. I got five pairs. This is the first pair. I absolutely love these. They're the Curvy Classic Stretch 
ultra high rise crop super skinny jeans i believe they're in the color medium destroy which most of these jeans are in that color they were 59.95 and I actually got them in a nine long because I don't really like crop jeans. Um, so I thought that if I ordered a long, then they wouldn't be cropped. And that is exactly what happened. So actually funny story about the next pair of jeans. So I bought the next pair because I wanted like a dark, dark wash because these were all like medium wash, regular, whatever. So I ordered these and I thought they were really cute. So I try them on and me being me, I don't know if anyone else does this, but when I try stuff on, I take pictures. So I like remember what they look like and then I can look back at it and really decide if I like it or if I hate it. But when I was looking back at the pictures, I looked back at the pictures of me wearing these and me wearing these. And I was like, is this not the same exact pair of jeans? Because like, yeah, they're slightly different colored, but I don't know if you can tell the rips are literally in the exact same spots the only differences between these two jeans is that this is just slightly darker and this isn't the curvy style or the crop but these are called the classic stretch ultra high rise skinny jeans they were 59.95 and i got them in a nine regular so if you want a stretchier comfier fit go for the crop ones if you want a tighter slightly darker fit go for the regular ones but yeah thank you for coming to that really long story really sorry about that moving on to the other jeans that i got i got these jegging jeans really comfortable really thin they literally look like they were painted on but they're still cute so it doesn't really matter they're called the advanced stretch ultra high rise jean leggings they're in the color medium destroy like i said earlier they were 59.95 and i also got them in a nine regular it has two knee rips which is nice because i feel like a lot of my jeans are really ripped so it's nice to have a pair of jeans that isn't so ripped the next pair i got are these ew they look kind of ugly from right here like this whole little slouchy area these are the classic stretch ultra high rise crop super skinny jeans sorry i was literally reading the tag <laughs> again they're in the color medium destroy they were also 59.95 they got little knee rips in them we have made it to the last pair of jeans okay so online it says they're called the classic stretch ultra high rise super skinny jeans and medium destroy so i got a regular but on the tag it says ultra high rise crop super skinny that's really weird we love that they have rips all the way down and the bottom's all distressed and even the pockets distressed like they're really cute and they're really stretchy the last two things that i got at hollister are bathing suit tops this is the first one I actually found out that my sister has the same one, so I don't really know why I ordered it because I literally could just borrow from her. But um, but this is just called the ribbed square neck bikini top. It's got little gold detailing. This was $28.95 and I got it in a size large. This is a triangle bikini top in a size large. It's $24.95 and it's in this mint stripe color. So actually it is supposed to be a straight back bikini, but I don't like that style. So I switched the straps so then it crosses over in the back like this so then it could become a little halter top and that is everything from hollister let's move on to the next the next place i bought some stuff at is walmart walmart has stepped up their game if you want cute clothes for low prices hit up walmart the first bathing suit i got is this blue one it's got this gold clasp in the middle it pops out this also is supposed to be a straight back, but just like the other triangle bathing suit that I got from Hollister, I switched the straps so they could cross over and become a little halter. It ties in the back. I absolutely love this color. I think it's really cute. I actually posted an Instagram photo in it, so. The next bathing suit that I got is just this plain black one. It has some underwire in the back, as you can see. Again, the straps are normally straight back, but I crossed them. But I think this is really pretty. It's like striped. I got it in a size large. I also got the blue one in a size large. I forgot to say. Also, both of these bikinis are only $10. So, and the last bikini that I got is this royal blue one. It's like a little bandeau, but it comes with a strap that you can hang over your neck. I really like the center detail. Um, it was also $10 and I also got it in a large. 
The only thing with this bathing suit is that if it's really tight, it'll go like this. And that is everything that I got at Walmart. So as I was filming, I got a notification that my package was delivered. So I'm gonna open it. This is a pair of leggings that I bought off of a smaller brand that I found on Instagram. Okay. Oh, that confused me. I thought I ordered two, but it's just folded in half. They're from the brand Neem Fit. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but it's just like a fitness brand. They smell like rubber, so that's fun. Um, I got them in a size medium. I mean, I think they're pretty cute. The color is really cute. They feel like good quality. I think they were like $32. So hopefully they look nice on. Um, so I'm gonna try them on and give you the nice little review. Okay, so I put my hair up because it's literally like 100 degrees in my room. Um, I'm a little toasty, but I tried on the Neem Fit leggings, and I am shocked. I love them. Here's a little up close. They've got like little ridges on the side, which I think is really cute. And it's very high-waisted, very flattering to the body. But I love them. I think the color's really cute. They're very flattering. I don't remember how long it took for them to get here, so I'll put it on the screen. I think it took maybe a month. Definitely worth the wait. The next place that I shopped from was TJ Maxx. I swear, TJ Maxx has the best workout stuff um, and they're all really cheap. This is a pair of leggings that I got. They're a size medium. They have a really thick band. Um, they're actually really thick in general. They're this pretty maroon color. This is the brand logo. I don't know what brand that is because I cut the tags off of these. But yeah, they were only like $16, which is crazy for a pair of leggings. Thank you, TJ Maxx. The next pair are literally my favorite leggings ever. I wear them all the time. They're these white and gray heathered leggings. I also got these in a medium and they're from 90 Degree by Reflex. Um, they're really comfy. They do have pockets, which is amazing. The next ones I actually just bought. They're like this black and gray heathered. They're really soft, like really soft. They were also only $16. I also got it in a medium. They're by RBX. The last thing I got from TJ Maxx is this little workout tank top. Oh, I didn't even realize it goes low in the back. This cute little heathered gray. It was only $8, which is crazy. Um, it's super soft, super comfy. It's by the brand Marika. Um, I got it in a medium. Yeah, that is everything that I got from TJ Maxx. The next few things that I got are from traveling to other places and then seeing a cute sweatshirt or t-shirt and then buying it. So the first thing is this blue oversized t-shirt from Lenny and Joe's. We actually went out to Lenny and Joe's for dinner one night and they had t-shirts for really cheap. I think this was only like $6. So. I was like, you know what, it's only six dollars. Let's just purchase it. So we purchased it. This is the back. I really like the color, so I thought I'd get it. It's also really freaking soft. The next few things are sweatshirts that I picked up from Newport because me and my family just went to Newport recently. The first sweatshirt is this white one. It's really thick. It's really cute. It's also really soft on the inside, um, but they only have a size small, so. I got it because it was only $10 and I thought it was really cute and it looked like it would fit. Um, the sleeves are a little tight, but I mean, it's not too bad. Like I'll definitely still wear it. The next sweatshirt is this, says Newport. It's this really pretty, I don't even know what color this is. It's not like maroon. It's kind of like a, a mixture between maroon and mauve. I really like the lettering. It was also $10. I got this in a size large. So it could be nice and oversized. It's super soft, super comfy. I also posted an Instagram picture in this. And the last sweatshirt I got is this yellow one. It was also $10. It's the same lettering as the pink one, whatever color you want to call it. I also posted an Instagram photo in this, <laughs> but it's so freaking soft. It's also really thin which is nice for the summer. So like you could still wear it without like literally dying of heat exhaust. I got it in a size large. 
so it can be nice and oversized. But I think it's really cute. I really like the color. The next few things I'm going to show you are accessories and other random things that I bought. So the first thing that I bought during this quarantine situation is an Apple Watch. Here's my Apple Watch. I got the Series 3. Um, I absolutely love this. It was like $200. So took a big old chunk out of my bank account. Like if you are into working out and fitness and stuff like that, I would highly recommend this. The next thing I got, I actually got off of Amazon. They're the blue light canceling glasses. It came in a set of two, but I gave one pair to my sister. Literally, I had to read a whole book online and I didn't get a single headache. They do the job and they were actually really cheap and affordable. So um, the link will definitely be down below because I highly recommend these. The last things I'm going to show you to end this haul are actually things that I didn't really buy, but I've been really into during this quarantine and I thought I'd show so then like in the future I can look back and be like I can't believe I actually did that but I've been making masks <laughs> I made these three out of old bandanas but then I also bought some fabric and made these so I have this one that I actually found this fabric left over in my sewing kit um, and then these three are all new fabrics this one I wear to work so it's a little dirty sorry about that um, and then these two are literally the cutest masks ever. I absolutely love them. They're actually really comfortable, so I'm kind of proud of myself. But yeah, that is the end of this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love making hauls. Um, so if you have any places that you want me to shop and like review or stuff like that, I absolutely love doing those videos. And yeah, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.